What's up, everyone? This is Hassan Shabazz from Sacred Eye Connections Health and Wellness. Today we're going to look at what is intermediate or intermediate fasting. For those who are new to the channel or this is your first time dropping by, hit that like button. And if you like health-related inf information, successful information, please subscribe to the channel. Also, you can check us out on the uh, Sacred Life Connection Health and Wellness Podcast. And the podcast is available wherever you get your podcast. So you can check us out on the podcast or you can check us out at the YouTube channel. But thank you for stopping by. Like I said, if this is your first time, go hit that subscribe button and uh, do me a solid and hit that like button. Without well, further ado, we're going to go into the video. What is intermediate fasting? And quite simply, intermediate fasting is when you only eat during a specific time. Fasting for a certain number of hours each day or eating just one meal a couple of days a week. That's intermediate fasting. And doing that, you can burn fat. It helps to burn fat. Scientific evidence points to some health benefits as well. So not only it helps you to burn fat, but it also can contribute to you having better health. So, Johns Hopkins neuroscientist Mark Madison who has a PhD, has studied intermediate fasting for 25 years. He said that our bodies have evolved to, to be able to go without food for many hours or even several days or longer. In prehistoric times, before humans learned to form, they were hunters and gatherers who evolved to survive and thrive for long periods without eating. They had to. It took a lot of time and energy to hunt game and to gather nuts and berries. So, we as a human species have the ability to go long periods of time without ingesting food. We don't have to eat constantly. So the purpose of fasting intermediately is that you give your body a chance to rest. You give your body a chance to, you, know, you give your digestive system a chance to rest, etc. So, Fasting for a certain number, certain number of hours, eating, and then starting to cycle over again. Fast intermediately. Have a specific time where you eat, and then have a specific time where you fast. If you want to lose weight, one of the best ways is to try intermediate fasting. But like any health plan, a diet, etc., check with your ph physician before you try intermediate fasting. Consult with your doctor. Make sure that you can that you are physically able to fast intermediately. Let the, give, give the doctor an idea of what of what, of what you plan on doing, how long you plan on fasting, etc. So check with your doctor, make sure that it's okay. But intermediate fasting, research shows that intermediate fasting periods do more than, like I said, burn fat. When changes occur with this metabolic switch, it affects the body and brain, according to Dr. Madison. Dr. Madison, in one of his many studies, has, has concluded that intermediate fasting has a long range of health benefits, health benefits. Longer life, leaner body, and a sharper mind. He said many things happen during intermediate fasting that can protect 
organs against chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, age-related neurodegenerative disorders, even inflammatory bowel disease and many cancers. So intermediate fasting can be a great benefit to your overall health. It also will help you clear your mind, think better, as Dr. Madison stated. And also, fasting is good for your soul. It's good for your spirit. So to summarize, some of the benefits of intermediate fasting are thinking and memory. Studies discover that intermediate fasting boosts working memory in animals and verbal memory in adult humans. Second, heart health. Intermediate fasting improved blood pressure and rest in heart rate as well as other heart-related measurements. Three, physical performance. Young men who fasted for 16 hours showed fat loss while maintaining muscle mass. Mice who were fed on alternate days showed better endurance in running. Three, diabetes and obesity. In animal studies, intermediate fasting prevented obesity. And in six brief studies, obese adult humans lost weight through intermediate fasting. And seven, tissue health. I'm sorry, in five, number five, tissue health. In animals, intermediate fasting reduced tissue damage in surgery and improved results. So those are five major benefits of intermediate fasting. Let's look at some more of the health benefits of intermediate fasting. When your body is fasting, or uh, in a fasting state, all sorts of good processes start to happen in your organ organism. Your insulin and, and leptin sensitivity increases, normalizing ghrelin levels. And ghrelin, for those who don't know, is the hunger hormone. Growth hormone HGH levels increase which plays an important part in health, fitness, and so on the aging process. The body releases more cholesterol, allowing it to utilize fat as a source of fuel instead of glucose. This decreases the number of fat cells in the body, and it lowers your bad cholesterol and increases good cholesterol levels. So those are some of the benefits of intermediate fasting. You should try it, it'll do wonders. David in the Bible used to fast uh, three days out of the month. Jesus is reported to have fasted. Fasting has been around forever. It's just in, in this modern time, we have become over consumed our, our Desire for food has consumed us. Our desire to consume has has really taken over our soul, and so we look at fasting, uh, depriving ourselves as something weird, as something foreign. But in order to really get yourself in order. You have to fast. You have to eliminate certain things from your environment. That includes food. That includes certain uh, certain TV shows. When you fast, not only should you fast from food and water for that period of time, but you should fast from face of the world for that period of time. So, you, so I would advise you to try intermediate fast. I've been fasting as a Muslim. I've been fasting for the last. For 42 years, and the benefits of fasting are exceptional. You don't have to fast for, for religious reasons, but you just fast for health reasons. Give your body time to heal itself.
So the, that's another benefit of, of fasting that's summarizing what we just went through. The body has a, time, a chance to actually free itself of certain toxins, thereby beginning the healing process. So that's all we got for you today. If you're interested in a free health consultation or health coaching section, contact us at hasanaskill at gmail.com or go to the go to our about page and contact us on our on the uh, website leave your information and we'll get back with you we'll offer a free 50 minute coaching session